Hi, I'm Zena. I'm the founder and master tea blender at clubmagichour.com. I am proud to be Ukrainian. My family escaped during World War II. Uh, my grandmother Maria, who taught me my love of plants and uh, how nature can heal anything. Her garden was where I grew up. As a child, she showed me how to make every type of jam and, and blackberry wine and tea and potion and uh, baked bread and she fed us feasts and uh, she used to really work hard to explain why they had to escape uh, Kharkiv, which is in eastern Ukraine, which is where uh, her family was from. And uh, she described it as uh, Stalin at the time uh, was, was practicing uh, something called forced famines. Basically, they would come in and take their crops and not allow them enough food to eat. So she packed up with my great grandparents and two of my uncles and they walked all the way to Germany because they didn't know that uh, Hitler was worse than Stalin. All they knew is they had to save their own lives and get away. Now, my great aunt Zena, who I'm named after, was the only one that stayed. And uh, she stayed in Kharkiv, she survived, and uh, she was a very beautiful and strong and powerful woman who only passed away a few years ago. But these are the matriarchs of my family. These are the women who taught me uh, resiliency and taught me beauty and taught me how to rely on nature and and to heal any woe. My grandfather now was another story. He came from Lviv or Lvov and it's the west of the Ukraine and it's um, he became a freedom fighter in the Ukrainian nationalists uh, early on, uh, was captured and was a survivor of five years in Buchenwald and then Sachsenhausen concentration camps. When the war ended, they met in a displaced persons camp and my grandfather fell deeply in love with my grandmother Maria, her beauty and her strength and her resilience. And uh, he told me that he was 88 pounds when they let him out of the camp um, and he was able to gain his strength again and our sponsors uh, in America who brought them over after the war were the Bixby's out here in California. They own the Coho Halama Ranch in the Central Coast. And my grandmother and grandfather uh, were able to uh, get to California, have my father and my uncles and aunts, and, um, and basically they were able to uh, create a life of possibility and beauty and uh, infused a strong work ethic and a sense of resiliency in me. Just recently, in the last 24 hours, Russia invaded the Ukraine as we were um, shooting these videos uh, to talk about the healing benefits of our teas and our new collections. And um, it was, uh, a poignant moment for me because I realized that um, all of the people in the Ukraine, and I still have family there as well, um, were, you know, not really expecting this to happen, and yet it happened. And uh, sometimes we can feel very powerless here in the West. But I just want to uh, send my love and my commitment to the people of the Ukraine and I am praying for you. I am uh, watching out for you as best I can from a distance. So often war um, dashes our um, hopes and dreams and it makes us feel uh, like there's nothing we can do. And we have to, if my grandma and grandpa were alive today, they would say, you have to stay strong. You have to fight uh, the darkness uh, with the light of your heart. You have to keep feeding people. My grandmother was such a feast maker. She fed us so much. She would say, oh, you, you, Zinitska, you must eat more, you're too skinny. And I'm like, uh, grandma, I'm the biggest kid in class. <laughs> like, and she'd go, no, no, you must eat. You have no idea what it is to be hungry. This is just a note for all of our Ukrainian friends and family out there. Um, we are here for you and we will be uh, doing everything we can from here uh, that we are capable of doing. Uh, you are in our hearts, you are in our minds and we are holding a space for you uh, in love and solidarity.
So I hope that uh, you make it through this unscathed and that all the work that my grandfather did fighting off the Russians on one side and fighting off the Nazis on another um, gets to stick and that the Ukrainians get to keep their independence. You are a powerful people, I know, because I'm one of you. So with this, I send you my love and prayers.